Welcome back, folks. I hope you're doing well. So we're looking at the NASDAQ futures contract for September 2023's delivery. And on the left-hand side here, we have a weekly chart. And I'll take your attention to this previous week that we just closed. This was the low, and this was the high. And I taught on my proprietary concept, the TGIF setup. It is primarily on the basis of a retracement to 20 to 30 percent of the weekly range. Now, I have students have, that have known this for years, way before I made it public on my YouTube channel here. But this has served me well even since the 1998. And you won't see this pattern anywhere. It's not talked about in any of the books, but uh, Power 3. On a bullish week, when we form a high, and I'll talk about what the high was likely to be formed around, but once you have a high formed, or what would be a tradable high, one that you suspect will be the potential high of the week, then you can anticipate a run back down into 20 to 30% of the weekly range. Okay, so TGIF is, thank God it's Friday. It's been going up one direction all week, and then the market comes back off of that and retraces a little bit. And this is to kind of like remove the argument of whether or not the markets are random, or also to challenge the idea that supply and demand or selling and buying pressure are the facilitators to what makes price go to where they specifically trade to. And there's elements of precision that I'm teaching you that aren't just simply going to align like the stars to make them go right to a specific price point and not any further. Okay, so if you believe the statistics that 90% of traders lose money, uh, it, it's a really hard argument to make the case that uh, these markets are absolutely random and no one could know for sure what was going to happen. So over here on the right, we'll look at that in a moment. Let's ring in the daily chart here. So on the daily chart, this shaded area here is a sell side imbalance, buy side on efficiency from this candle's low to this candle's high. That's the shaded area here. I measured from this candle's high to that candle's low, midpoint, which is consequent encroachment. That's what the CE stands for. So the market could trade up to that level on Friday. And this level here is this level over here on the one minute chart. Okay. All of these highs here, prior to the stock market opening bell here, which is right here, all these highs here, they ran right before the opening bell. The market dropped here, created a fair value gap. We opened, traded up, once more lower, and then we took out this low here. I liked that one. I wanted to see this low taken out because this area here had buy side, which is buy stops. Traders that want to capture a breakout move, okay? They might draw trend lines on things, and if it breaks above it, they'll think it's going to go higher. I'm not a fan of that stuff, so I wanted to see it take the buy side first and then run the sell side, relative equal lows here. It did that there. And in the video that I put up prior to this one on the YouTube channel, it was an interactive study. I wanted you to think about what it was I was utilizing to take that trade. As the market traded up into the fair value gap here, I marketed it in. Market breaks down into this buy side and balance sell side and efficiency. Now, this is the part of the video. I understand this is all me talking about something in hindsight. But we're going to go to a live trade, not a demo trade, a live trade with real money in a CFTC regulated broker in the US. And this area here, I wanted to see it trade through it, which is right here. I want no respect of this BISI. BISI is from this candle's high, that candle's low, all of this big range higher. I wanted to see it completely overlap all that and run right on through it down into the sell side here. To get to the low end of this daily SIBI. And there's the sell side and the low of that shaded area over here. 
on the daily chart, and again, this is a one minute chart here on the right hand side, I felt that we would see speed in the delivery of price, and we saw that absolutely deliver here. Ultimately, you can see the, the low objective for the weekly range retracement, which is TGIF, calling for 15,455. And the low of came in at 15,454. So it went one handle below it. Just to trade inside of this fair value gap in the form of a buy side of balance, sell side of efficiency. Trading just below Thursday's low, which I was anticipating that by specific price level of 15,460 and a quarter, which I tweeted beforehand on Friday. And all of that is time and date stamped. You can see that as well. So with that, I'm going to go into the execution video and we'll jaw bone over that and, and wrap this up quickly. All right, so I get a lot of these a lot in the comment section. Can you show me something in a real account, not paper trading? Uh, here we go. This is a live account. You can see that in the lower left-hand corner. The brokerage firm is AMP futures. I went short as we traded up into that fair value gap that's shaded here in pink on the right hand side. I'm going to apply the stop loss which will be just above the longest wick above the midpoint of that wick which is consequent encouragement so I trust the fact that it's not going to go back up there and now I want to watch it break down with a lot of speed and I like the fact that we failed to make a higher high on NASDAQ versus the higher high that was formed to the left on S&P. So there's s and divergence there as well. So I'm annotating. This is all live. It's not sped up. This is exactly as it would have happened if you were watching over my shoulder. And a day prior to this Friday, or two days actually, I did a Twitter space stating that I could trust my model would deliver a $15,000 trade on non-farm payroll Friday. And someone challenged me on that, saying it wouldn't happen, basically. And another guy said, you know, it would only be in paper trading. So here I am, anticipating that buy side of balance, sell side of efficiency to be completely disrespected and ran through. And I'll shade that area here. And as a reminder, it would be illegal for me to say that this was live fund trading, real money trading, not demo, if it really wasn't. I'm not so uh, keyed up the, about getting clout and having to lie about something that I know and my students have seen me do many, many times before. So I'm watching price. I want to see it accelerate through the low end of that shaded area. Now I just move the stop to better than break even. I'm not going to worry about the stop loss now. And I'm doing this also as a full pull. That means no partials. Full entry, full target. And I'm going to watch it trade down into that sell side liquidity. Now admittedly, I'm believing it's going to go lower. But I promised everyone in the Twitter space that I could have a model deliver 15000 real dollars in a real account, not demo. And you're probably looking at this thinking, how's he doing? How's he doing? Well, I've already taught it. It's in the model 2022 playlist. And combine that with the TGIF video. If you study those over the weekend and going into next week, you'll see exactly what I used here it was already taught to you for free. And I'm getting ready to close it as it trades below it. And booyah. That's what $15,400 looks like in a live account using what I taught for free on this YouTube channel. 